Igor Ivanovich Sikorsky, one of the most prominent figures in aviation, had a direct and indirect impact on over 40 industries, from agriculture to crisis management and cinema. He was born on May 25, 1889, in Kyiv, Ukraine, which was part of the Russian Empire back then. His father, Ivan Alexevich Sikorsky, was a psychiatrist and university professor, and his mother, Maria Stepanovna Sikorska, was a doctor who gave up her career to raise her children the best way she could, and she succeeded. They had a wealthy, educated family, and this scientific environment at home shaped Igor's interests and personality around science and technology. Igor loved reading Jules Verne stories and Leonardo da Vinci's designs for flying machines, which pulled him even more towards science and tech. He was so passionate about it that at the age of 12, he built small helicopter models using rubber bands for power, which only fueled his dreams of flying. Sikorsky did his early schooling in Kyiv and at 14 he went to the Nikolaev Military School in St. Petersburg and later transferred to the Kyiv Polytechnic Institute. During this time, he got more serious about aviation and went to Paris in 1907 to see the latest advancements in the aviation industry. There, he witnessed the Wright brothers' flights and other pioneers in the field. In 1909, Sikorsky returned to Kyiv and enrolled in the Kyiv Polytechnic Institute, and that same year, he began building his first aircraft, the S-1. This plane was built in 1910 but wasn't very successful, it barely lifted off the ground. But that didn't discourage him. He continued, and in 1911, he built the S-5 plane, which successfully flew, earning Sikorsky his first pilot license. Sikorsky's early successes caught the attention of Russian authorities, who sought to recruit him. In 1912, he was hired as the chief engineer of the aviation division at the Russian Baltic Shipbuilding Company in St. Petersburg. During this period, he started designing and building larger and more complex aircraft. One of Sikorsky's major achievements during this time was building the world's first multi-engine airplane, the S-21 Grand, this bomber, designed for the Russian army, could travel long distances with heavy loads without needing to stop. Another name for this plane was Ilya Muramets, which featured advanced technical specs like night vision equipment, internal heating systems, and defensive weapons, capable of carrying up to 16 passengers. This plane was revolutionary for its time and set many records. Sikorsky became one of Russia's leading aircraft designers, during World War I, the Ilya Muromets was used as a strategic bomber, participating in various operations and playing a crucial role in strategic bombings. Its ability to carry a significant bomb load and fly at high altitudes made it an effective weapon for the Russian army. Sikorsky opposed the communist regime, and the Bolshevik Revolution in 1917 made him want to leave the country. So, in 1919, he first went to England then France, and eventually, in March 1919, he migrated to the United States. But arriving in America came with its own set of problems. Despite his fame in Russia, he had to work on farms and later as a math and physics teacher at a Russian immigrant school in New York to make ends meet. But these hardships didn't make him forget his dream. In his free time, he kept designing airplanes and trying to find investors to bring his ideas to life. Finally, with financial help from a group of Russian immigrants, including the famous composer Sergei Rachmaninoff, Sikorsky Aircraft was founded on Long Island, New York, in 1923. The company's first success was the S-29A aircraft, an amphibious plane that could land on both water and land, catching the attention of the American aviation industry. He continued producing various aircraft, including passenger, military, and amphibious planes, and in the late 1920s, he developed the amphibious 38 plane. Sikorsky was successful in aircraft manufacturing but never forgot his childhood dream of building a vertical takeoff and landing machine. 
In the 1930s, he decided to make this dream a reality and focused on building helicopters. In the late 1930s, specifically on September 14, 1939, Sikorsky flew his first functional helicopter, the VS-300. This was one of Sikorsky's most significant achievements in his life. The VS-300 had a large main rotor for lift and a small tail rotor for thrust and stability. This design, known as rotor tail, is still used in most modern helicopters. After initial test flights, Sikorsky continued to develop and improve the VS-300. Finally, after two years of testing and demonstration flights, on May 6, 1941, it achieved a significant milestone by hovering in the air for one hour, 32 minutes, and 26 seconds, setting a major record for that time. The success of the VS-300 allowed Sikorsky to attract more financial support from the military and the aviation industry. The VS-300 became the foundation for Sikorsky's next helicopter, the Sikorsky R-4. The R-4 was significantly developed from the VS-300 design, but included many improvements and modifications. For instance, they upgraded the main rotor, making it out of aluminum for better performance compared to the VS-300. The tail rotor got a better control system, the body was stronger and lighter than the VS-300, and the engine power was increased. The cabin was also made to seat two people, allowing it to carry a pilot and either a passenger or additional cargo. The R-4 became famous for its roles in rescue operations, transportation, and reconnaissance. One notable achievement of the R-4 occurred on April 23, 1944, when it successfully rescued three American pilots who had crashed in difficult-to-reach areas. As mentioned, the R-4 was the first mass-produced helicopter, with 131 units built and used by the United States in various operations during World War II. Sikorsky continued developing and improving his helicopters, introducing models like the R-5 and R-6, which were extensively used during and after World War II. He also did well post-war, launching famous models like the S-55, S-58, and the S-61, also known as the Sea King, which became one of the most widely used military and civilian helicopters in the world. Igor married Elizabeth Simon in 1924 and had five children. Sikorsky continued working in aviation until he passed away on October 26, 1972, at 83. He also authored three books about the relationship between science, technology, and spirituality. He always believed that technical progress should be accompanied by moral and spiritual growth. Though Sikorsky passed away in 1972, his company continued producing significant and well-known models, like the UH-60 Black Hawk, introduced in 1974 and still in service with many countries' militaries. The CH-53E Super Stallion, the S-76, and the S-92 are three more notable models post-Igor. In 2015, Lockheed Martin, one of the largest aerospace and defense companies in the world, bought Sikorsky for $9 billion, enhancing its capabilities. After this merger, Sikorsky continued to produce popular models, including the Sikorsky Boeing SB-1 Defiant and the Sikorsky Raider X, both designed for the U.S. Army. Igor Ivanovich Sikorsky was one of the most influential figures in aviation. If you want to learn about another important person in aviation, check out this video. Share your thoughts about Sikorsky in the comments, and if you liked the video, please like and subscribe.